Hello, and welcome to AIM International's preparatory tutorials for the Information Certification Exam. I'm Steve Weissman, Principal Consultant at Holly Group and a certified AIM training instructor in the realm of content, process, and information management. I'll be your guide as we review the exam's major domains of expertise, and I'll tell you all you need to know to earn that passing grade. Today's subject has to do with websites and portals, key parts of this special certification which AIM created to support you as you solve your organization's existing information-related problems and plan for its future. For 60 years, AIM has been the leading nonprofit association, helping users understand how to best manage documents, content, records, and business processes. This module will cover Internet and Web Basics. Part of the Architecture and Systems Knowledge Domain, one of six within the certification program, it will discuss a number of variants, including the Internet, Websites, web portals, intranets versus extranets, web development, and commercial site and social media integration. In case you somehow haven't already heard of it, the Internet is a global system of interconnected computer networks that use the standard Internet Protocol Suite, TCP IP, to serve billions of users worldwide. It's a network of networks that consists of millions of private, public, academic, business, and government networks of local to global scope that are linked by a broad array of electronic, wireless, and optical networking technologies. The Internet carries a vast range of information resources and services, including interlinked hypertext documents, data files, and electronic mail messages. It's important to note that the Internet is not the World Wide Web, which can be thought of as the graphical front end to the original text command-based medium. But because the Web is the public face of the Internet, it's commonly thought of as being the same thing, and protocols such as HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, FTP, File Transfer Protocol, and Telnet, for remote computer access and control, have, perhaps invisibly, become part of our daily usage. The web is populated by websites that are collections of text, images, videos, or other digital assets, organized into pages that are hosted on at least one web server that's accessible via a network such as the Internet or a private local area network. The mechanism used to find one versus another is known as a Uniform Resource Locator, or URL. We know these as the HTTP colon double slash www dot something or other <laughs> dot com in most web addresses. And now we know that the HTTP is the protocol and the www actually stands for World Wide Web. Web portals are types of websites but are more tightly focused in that they function as a point of access to lots of information on the web by presenting material from diverse sources in a unified way. Apart from the standard search engine feature, web portals can offer such other services as email, news, stock prices, sports updates, and entertainment. In a corporate environment, they enable enterprises to apply a consistent look and feel and a controlled access to multiple applications and databases that otherwise would have behaved as different entities altogether. Examples of public web portals that can be customized and personalized include AOL, Excite, iGoogle, MSN, NetVibes, and Yahoo. Intranets are computer networks that organizations use to securely share any part of their internal information. Typically utilizing the same Internet protocol technology as the Internet itself, they may host multiple private websites and constitute an important component and focal point of internal communication and collaboration. Extranets, as may be surmised by the name, play essentially the same role but on an outward-facing basis. Extending a company's intranet to offer information to external users, usually partners, vendors, and suppliers, they allow controlled access from the outside for specific business or educational purposes. Web content management tools enable intranets, extranets, and web portals to offer users various capabilities such as check-in, check-out, personalization, and other methods of customization and collaboration. Web development is the broad term used to describe the development of a website for the Internet, Intranet, Extranet, or Web Portal. Areas of activity include design, content development, client liaison, client-side or server-side scripting, web server and network security configuration, and e-commerce development. In practice, many web developers have several basic interdisciplinary skills and roles, including graphic design or web design, information architecture, copywriting and copy editing, 
web usability and accessibility, and search engine optimization. With the growing use of commercial and social media websites as vehicles for marketing and e-commerce, more and more entrepreneurs and corporations are integrating their intranets, extranets, and portals with sites such as Facebook and Google. The integration process can go both ways, for example, by integrating Facebook or Google Maps into an organization's website, and by allowing third-party sites to gain access to some content from the organization's extranet. One popular way to do this is through the use of service connectors like Facebook Connect, which is the mechanism that allows you to create and sign into web accounts using your Facebook credentials, rather than having to establish new identities each and every time. Twitter and Google have the same sort of capability, and for the user the result is much greater convenience and usability. This module covered Internet and Web Basics, including the Internet, Websites, Web Portals, Intranets versus Extranets, Web Development, and Commercial Site and Social Media Integration. Next, you may wish to review the section on Web Content Management. The material you have just reviewed is part of a broader program of study that prepares you to take the Information Certification Exam. This proctored test consists of 100 multiple choice questions and is delivered electronically by Prometric. You'll have two hours to complete it, and upon passing, you'll earn a professional certification that's valid for three years. For more information, please visit www.aim.org slash certification. Thank you.